Hey, good morning, Cancers. Let's see what your past life wants you to relive for September 8th to September 14th, 2018. God, Gaia, God, Goddess, Mother, Father, what does Cancer's past life want them to relive for September 8th to September 14th? What does Cancer's past life Want them to relive for September 8th. Eight. What actions will Mr. and Miss Cancers be taking for September 8th to September 14th? What actions? Will they be taking for the week of September 8th to September 14th? Okay, let's see. Okay. Mr. and Miss Cancers, your past life wants you to relive that you are the key to life, lessons, and blessings. Mr. and Miss Cancers, what can you cultivate from the lessons you learned in your life? What can you captivate when it comes to your blessings? What do you see that is captivating about your blessings in your life? What have you learned from when it comes to your lessons in life? These are the things you are going to start asking your soul on the week of September 8th to September 14th. You are that timekeeper. Mr. Miss Cancers, you are conjuring, conquering, and connecting to how you can use time to your advantage. How you can slow, speed, or even out time to bring the blessings into your life. And to use your lessons as a soul connection of source to help bring in the people, places, and things that you want to experience, that you deserve to experience. Your soul expression this week is the ten of earth. You have mastered the very skills, tools, and abilities that you will need to be successful in this earthly motherly plane you know the 10 people that you can connect to and that you can learn from in regards to continuing your life purpose and continuing your business if you are an entrepreneur to continue your artistry in your craft you will know how to spiritually be more grounded in how you communicate and how you use your spiritual side in everything that you do. You'll see that you are starting to formulate and manifest a very happy family life. Financial security will be at your disposal. Finding magic in the little things in life will be your ultimate pleasure. And finding magic in the little things in life, meaning, can do you have two legs to walk? Do you have two hands 
that you could use to touch, to hold, to grab onto things? Do you have eyes to see where your next new project will be or your next creative endeavor will be coming from? Can you hear the the news of encouragement from others to keep going? Can you hear the trumpet playing of your victory at your feet? Can you smell the new fragrance of who you are? Can you taste the nutrients of what people would like to give to you in regards of how much you have cared and have used your intuition to cater to their wants and needs? Now, the 10 people, 10 places, 10 things are going to be coming to you to say thank you and to show you that you have brought magic in their lives and they would like to give it back to you. How people are seeing and recognizing your soul expression through you is the seven of fire. You are in the Libra's house, the seventh house of Libra, and you are showing that you are well balanced in your passions now that you are in the Libra house of logic and order and organization and management, now you're bringing out those seven passions in your endeavors and you're going to start defending your beliefs. People are starting to see that because you have mastered your earthly skills and your earthly abundance and how you want to go to your next journey in life. People are starting to see that you are defending your beliefs more and more. And the decisions that you're making are not only logical and fair, but very passionate and driven. Stand your ground. People are loving that you're standing your ground. You're bringing out people's desire every time they see you bring out your beliefs and your traditional self-value and self-worth. Choose your beliefs and how you want to show your decisions in a wise manner. Not every battle you have to be in conflict with, Mr. Miss Cancers. You can and you will have the courage to cause conflict as a cure instead. You will become that cure for conflicts. You will become that care for concern or concernment and how you will lead out the weekend or the end of the week is the sun. You will be shining bright like the sun. You will become that Leo side of yourself, Mr. And Ms. Cancers. You have went up two houses. That's truly impressive. Now you are becoming that Leo side of yourself. You're becoming that leader. People are starting to see that you are a leader because you are very, you have an equilibrium about yourself that people can resonate with and connect to. People are seeing that you are not only logical, but you also found a way to show that passion through your emotions. That is very difficult, especially since you have learned through life lessons that the blessings in your intuition and in your care has prepared you for family abundance, for love abundance, for job abundance, for your life purpose abundance, and for your abundance within you. Happy outcome is what you're catering to, Mr. and Ms. Cancers. You are becoming a bright Sun that is oozing out brilliant new ideas that lead to success like the lion. It is leading you to success. Have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in your beliefs. Have confidence that the decisions that you make are fair. You're in the Libra house and you're very intuitive and passionate about the way you're going to go about things and how you're going to show that you're confident and the way you are heading and leading yourself. You are noticing and realizing that you are the number one. You are divine. You, they only make one of you, and that is you. 
you're loving you and seeing how loving you is going to bring you that longevity of love in everything that you do. I love you. I love you, Mr. and Ms. Cancers. Be open to the abundance and to the light that you have within you. It wants to shine bright. We will see you on the other side.